If you're like me, you've got a serious stuff problem. You got a lot of stuff stuffed in the back of your Jeep. And there's some organization, but it's not perfect. I got a bag for my recovery gear. I've got a bag for my tools. I've got organizers for all sorts of stuff, but they're all just kind of tossed in there. Now, there's a lot of Jeepers who will create, you know, storage rack systems uh, in the back of their Jeep, pull out fridges and stoves that pop out, and it's a really great overlanding setup, but it does eliminate your ability to go get groceries. If my wife said, hey, I want you to go get some groceries, I could probably just pile it on top of this stuff or pull all this stuff out before going to the store, but I gotta remember that this vehicle is also my daily driver. It's not just a dedicated off-road vehicle. Now, maybe you have a dedicated off-road vehicle, in which case, good for you. Uh, but if you're like me, most of us have to try and figure out how to get all this stuff into place while still making it a functional space for all the rest of life. So today, I wanted to try and spend some time organizing this into what hopefully will be a little bit more functional space, easier to move in and out, or easier to push to the side, or even just a dedicated space for it all. You can see I'm using a lot of roll bars and extra organizers, but I think we could do with a little more organization, don't you? Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna start by setting up a table. This is a great little table I use. I bought it at REI. I use it as part of my camp kitchen when we're out jeeping. And the thing I like about it is that it compacts down so small but still has a great surface area. In this particular case, I'm gonna use this to pull a big chunk of things out of my Jeep, arrange them on the table so I can still see them and access them and then be able to decide what goes in where instead of just putting it on the dirty ground. All right. That'll work. That table's getting really packed. I think I need to grab a second table. You know, I realized as I was saying that, that I have another table right here that I could be using as well. So that's a great spot to put a lot of these smaller items. Admittedly, there might be a few things in here which don't make it back into the Jeep after I'm done.
this isn't even all of it. Sometimes I'm surprised at how much stuff I have back here. Why don't I take a second and just show you what I have and why I have it. Cables. I uh, haven't really needed those until I started buying older Jeeps. And then I seem to need to jumpstart them all the time. So I've been keeping a set of cables with me. That's a sunshade. I use that uh, up in the window if I'm ever parked in sunshine or in the event that uh, I want to keep uh, a little privacy when I'm camping and sleeping inside the Jeep. There's a shovel I keep in, uh, it's a snow shovel, uh, expandable, that I use in the wintertime so I can shovel myself out if I ever got um, stuck in something. This kit is recovery gear. I misspoke earlier, this is my air tools. This is my recovery gear. So it's got my strap, it's got my blocks, it's got my soft shackles, um, everything in there for my recovery. And then these were my air tools for my power tank, my um, tubes and air up tools, etc. These are my actual tools. Um, and I've spent a lot of time uh, putting this Blue Ridge Overland bag together um, to give myself a really good toolkit for the trail. Uh, and it's got all the stuff I need, sockets and um, screwdrivers and wrenches and zip ties and et cetera, et cetera. This is a booster kit where if I didn't have another vehicle to use a jumper on, I could use this. But I don't fully trust this one either, which is why I had those. I don't know that I'll keep both of them in there. I'll probably need to decide which one I use and... It's probably going to be those, and I don't know that I'll keep it in that case either. That's a really big case for something that probably doesn't need to be that big. Over here, I've got my chair. I've got a couple small pillows, blanket, hammock, air mattress. Uh, that's all stuff that if I ever wanted to sleep outside, I could find a tree and do it, or I could lay the seats down and sleep right in here. Got a couple moving blankets, great for... Um, you know, putting down on the ground if you're working or whatever. Uh, I've got a rain jacket and then a insulated jacket. Uh, so no matter what the conditions are, I can always have, uh, have something to keep me warm. And then I've got a variety of food in here too. I've got my jet boil. I've got oatmeal. I've got a life straw if I run out of water. And then I've got a couple mountain house meals so that if I ever um, were out camping or whatever and I needed some food in a hurry, I'd be able to have those there. Inside, I also have things like headlamps, water bottles. This is a mug with hot chocolate in it, extra batteries, bear spray, lights, hand warmers, my Goal Zero battery charger, of course, my power tank, machete, fire extinguisher, a hatchet. And then I've got a number of these Step 22 bags around too, with a variety of things in them. So I'm making some good progress. I've got all my recovery gear and my air up tools in this big ammo can. It fits perfectly on the one third side of the back of the Jeep. So if I ever wanna lay down the seat here and still create a bed, this doesn't have to move in order to make that bed work. I also decided to eliminate some of the rattling sound by lining this with a bed liner. So I've just put a spray in rubberized bed liner on the inside of it. That should eliminate any of the metal that's hitting against the sides uh, from making too much noise. And uh, we just gotta wait for that to dry before we can put the tools back in. I've also got a Step 22 tech pouch, which has all my chargers, uh, batteries, like anything 
electronic related is now in there and situated nicely behind my Goal Zero Yeti. My food is all inside my best top uh, under seat storage bag. Now, I'm not sure I'll be keeping this under the seat, but you can see I've got space in here for my jet boil, for my tools and utensils, um, several things of mountain house food, my mug with hot chocolate, and several packets of oatmeal. And there's certainly room to put a little bit more in there. This is not meant to be my food for an entire trip. This is what I consider my emergency food. So if I were out somewhere and needed to eat or saw someone that were, you know, was hungry and, and needed to feed them, um, I was in an emergency type scenario um, where I didn't plan for and didn't pack any food, then I would use the food that's in here. Uh, it's also good for kind of impromptu meals. If I was out doing something and I'm like, you know what, I'm hungry. I'm staying out later than I expected. I think I'll eat something. It's kind of nice to have that bag there and ready. But I still got to figure out what to do with my sleeping stuff. I've got um, my mattress, my chair, hand warmers, uh, straps for my hammock, my hammock itself, a sleeping bag blanket, and a pillow. Got to figure out the right place to put all that. And uh, actually, I need to pull these things and put them back in my tech pouch. So those all belong in the tech pouch. And over here, I've got my tools. Um, I want to just kind of go through and make sure I've got all my tools set the right way. And I was kind of thinking I might store the tools right there in front of the recovery gear uh, instead of underneath the seat. I used to keep all my tools underneath the rear seat, but I found oftentimes when I was going to have to lay the seat down for one reason or another, I'd have to pull all my tools out and find a place for them. It was a bit of a hassle. So I'd like to try and find a way to avoid that, although that is some valuable space and, and I should put it to use when I can. All right, my hammock, the hammock straps, and my fleece jacket. All tucked in nicely into that space where the factory jack used to be stored. I'll probably do a full video on my toolkit on another day, but just as a quick look, I've got half inch drive sockets, um, more half inch drive stuff, and I basically got every socket that I would need, even really big ones for, you know, axle nuts and things like that. All the adapters and things like that I need. Um, a 3 8 set. Uh, these are all pliers and uh, cutters and things like that. Um, wrenches, etc. Uh, screwdrivers. And then this is kind of miscellaneous. So it's got like WD-40 and Loctite and a measuring tape and, you know, just some JB Weld. And then this is a wrench roll that just has all of my wrenches all uh, rolled up in it. So together, that's a pretty decent uh, toolkit. And this Blue Ridge Overland bag has been perfect for storing it all. So there's my tools. So when I got my Jeep, it came with these roll bar, I don't even know what you'd call them, organizers. Uh, it's just a little place that straps around and you can hook things to them. So I'm using one of those to attach these two. Um, they uh, have a molly, 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 how do I, however the heck you say that, straps on the back. And this is extra water uh, and bear spray. And then these little containers that I have in the back are perfect for my first aid kit. So um, coming together nicely. I don't have a perfect first solution for everything else, uh, but overall I'm really happy with how much better organized it is uh, compared to what it was when we started today. So um, I'm gonna wait for this ammo can to dry out uh, so I can put all the rest of this recovery gear in it. And once I've done that, um, that should keep it Pretty well organized back there. All right, so the bed liners had a chance to cure and I've been able to organize everything really nicely into here. So um, I took a box, just a cardboard box in here so I could pull out this uh, jumper cables, for example, and all my recovery gear still, st still stays there. Um, I could, you know, pull out my air tools and 
you know, everything still stays there. If I needed to grab just a shackle or my winch remote or things like that, it's all arranged vertically. So this is all my recovery gear. This is my jumper cables, but this is my air tools. And then I've got my cable as a backup if my battery on my wireless winch remote fails. Uh, and I still even have a little bit of space left in there if I have other things that ended up needing to go put there. But I think that's gonna be a great little solution. Plus, with the lid on properly, <laughs> there we go. Uh, with the lid on, this actually also serves as a second surface or tabletop or whatever for the inside of the Jeep while I'm camping. So um, I think this will be good. I do need to figure out some way to stop this metal from rubbing on the inside of the Jeep uh, or rattling or things like that, or even just securing this down. I might use these handles and the existing tie downs and, and strap it down that way, but I need to find a solution for that. But overall, really happy with the way this is turning out. Well, it's not perfect, but it's a vast improvement, I think. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff in there. Do I need two huge moving blankets? Probably not. You might not even need one, but it is nice to have. Um, you know, do I need to be keeping camping gear and things like that with me all the time? Probably not. But it certainly is easier to say, hey, I'm going to go grab some groceries. Let me pull out the table, the moving blankets, these things, and just pull this thing out. And voila, now I've got a whole open back ready to load up all the milk and eggs my wife could, could have me purchase. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly enjoyed getting it clean. It feels really good in here. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, when you go out and, and have an adventure, go camping, sleeping in the back of the Jeep, go off-roading, go on a trip and use it, uh, that'll be the proof as to how well this is, is really organized. But I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I'm really pleased with how you know, been able to reorganize some of the clutter that's back here. And I've redone the back of my Jeep at least a dozen times since I purchased it. So I'm sure this won't be the last time I redo it. But I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you got some good ideas. And I'd love to hear in the comments anything you think I'm forgetting. I'll tell you right now, some of you are going to say, what about fluids? I generally don't carry oil, transmission fluid, you know, et cetera, et cetera with me. Um, unless I'm going on a big long trip. Those are actually in a crate that I'll usually put right there. Um, but uh, other than that, all the stuff I generally need when I'm out having an adventure is right here packed away. Another great reason to own a Jeep. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. See you later.